Openers Azhar Ali and Sajil Khan put West Indies under pressure from the outset after Pakistan opted to bat first again. Shajil used his bottom hand to clear the infield regularly, collecting three fours and a six in his 12 ball 24 before the West Indies hit back, moving both batsmen in the space of three balls. But that didn't stop the run flow. In fact, it accelerated it as the pair of Baba Azam and Shoaib Malik had lift off. They waded into anything the bowlers had to offer and took full toll on all of them. They added a record 169 for the third wicket, the highest against the West Indies in one day, as Pakistan posted their largest ever total in Sharjah. Malik raced away to make a dazzling 90 at better than a runner ball with three fours and a six sixes, five of them coming off Suleiman Ben before he chipped a simple catch to Bravo off Suleiman Narang's bowling. But Azam kept going and eventually he would reach his second hundred in succession, following up his 120 in the first one day with an even more impressive 123, counting nine fours and a six. Pakistan would reach an impressive 337 for five at just under seven runs and over. That left the Windies needing a minor miracle, and Johnson Charles didn't help matters as he fell for just two. But Darren Bravo took up the challenge with a wonderful batting display, using the long handle to good effect, especially against the left-arm spinners. In all, he would top score with a brilliant 61, inclusive of five fours and three sixes. Marlon Samuels also shaped well for his 57, as they carried the fight for the Windies. Other useful scores came from Dinesh Ramdin, 34, and Braffitt 39, when the Windies could only reach 278 for seven when overs ran out, handing Pakistan victory by 59 runs and an unassailable 2-0 series lead with one to play. Ruskin Mark, C-Sports.